Hello guys and welcome to ColourMcGill.com and my name is Colin McGill. The post I have for you today guys actually is how to market your small business and I think it's imperative that we as a small business owner start understanding in today's environment that we really really have to take responsibility for marketing our own business. I think no longer is the day that you can sit there and just say we're open and expect uh, people to find you and come to your business irrespective uh, whether you're uh, working online or offline you really really need to market your business in such a way that you're grabbing customers uh, into your business. Uh, it's vitally, vitally important, I think. So that's what I'm concentrating on today. I'm going to highlight certain things all to do with online marketing, of course, on how you should start marketing your business. So the first thing I suppose I should start with really is you have to start taking control of your website, guys. Many of you out there have got your website developed and you really hope that it's going to capture customers. But at the end of the day, a website has to be a, a performing tool. It's not going to grab uh, customers and bring them back into your business just by sitting there. Not at all. And I think that's a mistake we make. We, I think once our website is developed, that's it. We don't have to do any more. We have an online presence. Not so, guys. What we have, we have a shop window. But we have no one passing to come in. We're not going out getting traffic. So you're basically on an online, in an online wilderness is what you are. You're just sitting there. And that's why I can guarantee you if you have a website and you're not adding content and you're not updating it on a regular basis it's possibly doing nothing for your business and if that's you well then you should definitely listen to what else I, uh, I'm going to say today so basically you really have to start taking control of your website as I say because you have to understand that your website is the center to everything you do online everything else radiates out from there so if uh, you build your website obviously you get your website developed and you post content everything you're posting goes on your website but then you should start sharing across social medias the likes of your Twitter, your Facebook, your LinkedIn etc, your YouTube and all the different video platforms. So I suppose as a small business owner when you're listening to me today you go well that seems to be a lot of work and it requires a lot of knowledge. Well it is a little bit of work definitely and it does take a little bit of knowledge but it's a little bit of knowledge uh, and a bit of education that you require guys going forward with no doubt because especially with the escalating prices of everything and advertising going through the roof and you know yourself in this current economic climate everything is very very expensive and therefore you as a small business owner have to take a more hands-on approach so I would say to you you have to really start learning on how to manage your online presence so first of all you really have to identify your target audience obviously and then you have to have a clear mind on your target audience and start thinking about keywords because keywords guys is what really drives everything online and what keywords are is obviously when you go to the search engine, you type in a particular word or phrase. That's a keyword. Search engines will return the most relevant material back or relevant answer back to the user based on keywords. So therefore, you have to understand what keywords you're targeting, and you really, really have to understand how to develop your content around it. Okay. So again, go through my site. I have a lot more uh, posts and material on keywords and the likes and content creation, which I will have links. On, on this particular site is or this particular post, so don't worry about that. So the next thing I must say is speaking to a lot of small business owners, I notice many of you out there have your websites developed. Unfortunately, though, you've got them done with particular companies that uh, have access to the site. They're, they're not leaving you have access to the site, and the problem there, guys, is they have all the control. If you ask them for any alteration or anything like that, they charge you, which is fair enough because they have to make money and it takes them time. And sometimes it takes a lot of time to make these alterations. But you should at the very least have control over any content to your site. And equally, you should know how to add the content. That goes back to the keywords and understanding keywords and content creation. But you really have to have access to your own site, guys, because you are dead in the water if you're not producing content on a regular basis. Because it's all through fresh content that you start climbing the search engines once your keyword correctly. Because you become relevant, obviously, and you're shared across the different platforms. and you're you're broadening your online marketing net and your online presence, which is vitally, vitally important. So I would say to you, you definitely, definitely need, if you are getting a website designed or developed, you really have to sit down with the person doing it and make sure that you're going to have full access. Uh, when I do my web designs, guys, with uh, people in small business, they have full access to the site. And I actually train them on how to use the site and how to put in content and how to keyword and all that kind of thing. It's vitally important for you going forward as a small business owner because you are not going to afford the escalating prices all the time. And you're being held to ramp, ransom by these particular businesses because they own your site. 
they have your domain name they have everything on their account so you have to go with them and that's the problem because they're going to be charging fees for hosting and etc and obviously hosting costs so much of course and all these alterations but some of these businesses are hiking the prices way up and it's making it very 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 expensive so i would urge you when you are thinking about getting your website designed or redeveloped uh, really do your as they say your due diligence really do a background chart and check and investigate all avenues because you really really need access guys it's as simple as that so before i keep ranting on i suppose that's one thing you have to keep in mind when you're marketing your small business you have to really be putting up fresh content on a regular basis on your website to gain that exposure for your business going forward now that's it for me today guys i'm not going to go into it in depth but i will be adding uh, other posts over the next couple of weeks on how to market your business the likes of how to do social media how to use utilize social media platforms i'm i might uh, give an actual um a post on obviously i'm going to do a post actually on video marketing because it's very very important and i know many small business owners are intimidated by getting in front of the camera but once you get uh, over the initial one you'll be fine so that's it that's what's going to be coming in the coming weeks so guys uh i won't keep you any longer i hope you enjoyed the post and i, I also hope to see you on the next post so again thank you for visiting colinmcgill.com if you are on any of the video platforms there will be a link at the bottom that will take you back uh, to colinmcgill.com so that's it guys again if you need any help uh, or have any questions about anything at all to do with online marketing feel free to contact me and you can contact me through my website okay guys thank you very much and i hope to see you in the next post thank you